Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching Bedtime Stories with Javi. How are you? I'm recording for both Facebook and uh, IGTV, so if I'm looking away, please bear with me. Um, but for those who don't know me, I'm a trauma-informed spiritual coach and inner child specialist, and one way I do my job is to read Bedtime Stories to the collective. It's just another way for us to not only bring representation of marginalized and colonized people or part of marginalized children and authors into the spotlight, but also it's just another way for us to tap into our inner child. And I love doing that. I love reading bedtime stories. Um, and as an author, I really appreciate, you know, the written word and the power that words have. Um, also, I am taking donations for this particular segment, which I do on uh, Wednesdays. Um, at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if and also, um, if you are interested in uh, doing any sort of donation or or, um, or anything like that, I will put all that that information in the descriptions, uh, so you'll able you'll be able to have it. I have a uh, PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. So every little bit helps, and I would not be able to do these segments if it wasn't for those who support um, Bedtime Stories. So thank you so much for everything. Uh, let's say something else, but I completely forgot. <laughs> so um, this week, we are going to be uh, reading a book called I Am Every Good Thing by Derek Barnes and, and Gordon C. James. I actually read... Um, Crown Ode to the Fresh Cut by uh, Derek Barnes. I really enjoy it. And I really do enjoy it. And I also, um, I believe that other people, uh, you know, loved it as well. So on that note, let's get started with uh, Every Good Thing. I am, I am a nonstop ball of energy powerful and full of light. I am a go-getter, a difference maker, a leader. I am every good thing that makes the world go round. You know, like gravity or the glow of moonbeams over a field of brand new snow. I am good to the core, like the center of a cinnamon roll. Yeah, that good. I am skateboard tricks, sc scraped knees and elbows. But you know what? I am right back on my feet again. I and one eye open, one eye closed, peeking through a microscope, gazing through a telescope, checking out the spaces around me and plotting out those far off places I have yet to go, but will. I am a gentleman and a scholar. I am kind and polite like, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, helping my grandmother cross the street and saying, bless you, when a stranger has to sneeze.
I am a cool breeze, a perfect paper plane that glides for blocks, for miles, forever. I am a roaring flame of creativity. I am a lightning round of questions and a star-filled sky of solutions. I am an explorer planting a flag on every square foot of this planet where I belong. I am a sponge soaking up information, knowledge, and wisdom. I want it all and I am all ears. I am Saturday mornings in the summertime. I am two bounces and a front flip off the diving board. I am hilarious. I am the life of a party. I am that smile forming on your face right now. I am the boom, bap, boom, boom, bap. When the bass line thumps and the kick drums jump, I am the perfect beat, the perfect rhyme, keeping everything on point and always on time. But you already knew that. I am a grand slam. Base is fully loaded. I am a nasty two-handed dunk holding on to the rim just to remind you that I'm still the man. Believe that. I am the undisputed champion. I am a highlight reel of magnificence. I am the celebration, the applause, and the standing ovation. I am victory. I am a brother, a son, a nephew, a favorite cousin, a grandson. I am a friend. I am real. I am tight hugs, a hand to hold, a shoulder to cry on if you have to. I hope you never have to. I am here. Although I am something like a superhero, every now and then, I am afraid. I am not what they might call me. And I will not answer to any name that is not my own. I am what I say I am. I am that sound in the forest when the mighty tree falls. I am waves crashing gently on the shore. I am a force of nature, a miracle, a blessing. I am brave, I am hope, 
I am my ancestor's wildest dreams. I am worthy of success, of respect, of safety, of kindness, of happiness. And without a shadow of a doubt, I am worthy to be loved. I am worthy to be loved. And that's it. That is the end of I am every good thing by Derek Barnes um, and Gordon C. James. That was a really beautiful book. It was very empowering, especially for black kids out here um, who are going through it, are going through it right now because of the systems that are set in place. And so that book is a reminder, like, I love his work anyway. There's a second book that I have read by Derek C. Uh, Derek C. Derek C. Derek, Derek Barnes. And um, it's just 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 black, black power and black magic, black, black boy magic everywhere. Um, black kids and like just it upholds and he uplifts black kids with his words. Um, everything from a haircut to basically the entire body. And um, I feel like this is extremely important because I have been reading, still reading, um, The Body Is Not an Apology by Sonia Taylor, Sonia Renee Taylor. And she talks a lot about, I'm, I'm just finished chapter two, and she talks a lot about how the government is always doing something to demonstrate how our bodies, uh, especially if they look different from the status quo, how our bodies are often used to um, push some sort of politics um, that doesn't adhere to our strength, right? And I'm talking about the marginalized and colonized population. And so um, this actually hits home for me because it talks about, at least I am every good thing, talks a lot about how the black, black black people, black bodies, especially the, that of black boys, are to be respected, are to be seen with kindness and um, and dignity. And so, every book that I have read so far by Derek Barnes um, showcases the importance of seeing our personal power as black folks, right? And so I'm here for it. I think, let me go back to like, he actually dedicates this book to um, the young men who were murdered by, by the cops, Tamar Rice, Trayvon Martin, or if not by the cops, then just gone in general way before their time. Tamar Rice, Tr uh, Trayvon, Trayvon Martin, E.J. Bradford, Jordan Edwards, Michael Brown, Jordan Davis, and Julian Maloney. Um, and he also dedicates it to his sons who are very much alive, uh, Gabriel and all the, uh, his son Gabriel and everyone like him. And so this book is pretty much dedicated to all the, the uh, to the young boys out there um, who are constantly fighting, who are constantly fighting to have the world see their dignity um, because they see their own, right? They see their own power. And this book definitely demonstrates how powerful Black folks are, especially like Black, black men in particular and Black boys in particular in his, in his work, but Black folks in general. I'm here for it, especially towards the end of Black History Month, um, where it's just extremely important that we see our power. So that's all I have. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Um, and for those who um, are interested in uh, getting another book um, titled to me, by all means, let me know. Please tell me what books you want me to read. Um, 
especially as long as they're uh, children's books um, that center marginalized and colonized children or have been written by a, a, an author that is part of the marginalized and colonized community. Uh, also uh, take donations for this particular segment. So bedtime story. So by all means, if you are, uh, you know, being called to give a donation, by all means, please do so. I would not be able to do that uh, without the, the folks who are, um, who, who will watch these videos on a regular basis and share the videos on a regular basis. Also, please subscribe to subscribe to the channel, to the Inner Child Collective uh, YouTube channel. I really appreciate everything that you have done. Um, and you will never miss another video if you subscribe, you know. And so I do stuff like this all the time, especially bedtime stories. Every Wednesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually uh, doing a Patreon right now. Um, I'm in the bedtime stories are actually going to be a huge chunk of that. Um, so be on the lookout for that Patreon. Also, if you are um, on social media, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, I was in TikTok. So by all means, like follow me so you'll never miss another video, so you'll never miss another announcement, so you'll never miss anything pertaining to the Inner Child Collective. I do good, some good stuff. I'm not going to, I'm going to sit here and toot my own horn for a minute. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. And as you can see, this is um, a video, a pre-recorded video, because I'm actually taking a, a break from social media for a minute. But I wanted to do this because I want to keep the momentum going. So again, thank you so much for all that you've done. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video and sharing your, your, your love and your kindness and support with me. I really appreciate it. And I will really appreciate a, a more of your support. So until next time, peace.